All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's VMP. Welcome back. This time we're here with a little more of Blood for Land. Today, uh, we are hopefully going to be able to find some pretty good, pretty fun missions for us here. We want, you know, we want difficult. We want challenging. We just don't want, you know, just bend over and take it type of difficulty like that, uh, that, that siege from last episode. Um, now, admittedly, I think if we were to do it again this episode, we'd get pretty close uh, to actually successfully completing it. You guys gave me a lot of great tips in the comments. Um, probably talk about that later on in the episode. Uh, but we're not going to attempt that again today. Um, we're going we're gonna to let that one rest for an episode or two. Get some more missions out of the way. Level up our troops and whatnot. And then we might take another, uh, another swing at that one. So, before we get started, I'd like to check out our new hero here, Anuk. Um, what is she repping with here? Okay, uh, so she's an intelligence hero. I don't know how much that helps us. Is this a party skill? It doesn't say if that's a party skill or not. I don't... Hmm... Hmm, I'm not sure if this is affected by that, but I mean the whole thing is if she's an intelligence hero What's the point of an intelligence hero in this mod if that isn't affected by it because none of this ever comes into play Huh She only has a strength of five man, so I don't know. I don't know how, how good she's gonna be Let's I mean, okay. How about we're gonna go for intelligence and hope that by doing this it increases our production in battle? Maybe? I don't know. She's not really good for a whole lot else. And I don't think we can even equip her with much. We can give her a shield at least. Oh, I guess the uh, this thing only takes 8 strength. That's actually not too bad. Okay. Alright, well, maybe we can do that later on for her. Um, I'll tell you what. I, w I went ahead and won another tournament, so we got a lot of cash. Let's go ahead and check out what old Smitty Werbin has in his inventory. Ooh, what is this? Crude steel plate armor, fifty nine fifty nine. Holy shit, that is sweet. Um, yeah, yes, please. Okay, we're gonna buy that. How much was that? Eighteen grand. I mean, we've got the money for it. Um, headsman's axe, iron fist, uh, steel boots. Whoa, hold up, shit. That's a way better than what we have too. Oh my god, forty over thirty two. Holy shit, we're about to be tanky. I mean, that, this is a lot of cash we're dropping for this, but, I mean, what else are we really spending cash on right now? God damn. Got a good helmet for me? No. Actually, we have a decent helmet right now. Okay. Holy shit. Ooh, we're looking nice. All right, let's, uh, tell you what, let's go talk to Colborn real quick and give him our old armor. Um, and probably, yeah, we're going to give him these too. This is a big upgrade for him. Oh, shoot, tell you what, he needs a shield. Um, Anuk, let's be honest, you're not really going to be using that shield. <laughs> um, we can't give you these, though. That's an upgrade. Mm, you still can't use either of those. So we're going to go ahead and give this to Colborn. Well, there you go. All right, Colborn's looking decent. He does need some gloves still. Uh, we'll worry about that later. Um, because what I want to do right now is upgrade some of the troops that we haven't really been using too much. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, one, you guys told me that the composite bowmen are way better than the uh, huntsmen that we were using. And so that was part of the problem that we had in that siege is that, you know, our, our archers weren't really standing up to their own archers. So, okay, we'll go ahead. Yeah, they're definitely a lot, a lot more expensive. These are some, these are, that's probably like our most expensive unit to upgrade so far. Besides like our, uh, specialty or unique units. All right, we'll give them tougher armor, better bow, um, a helmet. Is he saying, did he just say it's it's harvesting season? <laughs> kind of reminded me of that, uh, for those of you that were in the live stream and we were doing the, uh, invasion mode. And they just kept on spamming that. That was kind of crazy. Um, so we'll get some of them. I'm also thinking maybe some spear throwers? Hmm. And the hired crosswoman? The hired crosswoman could be decent. Also the hoplites? We already maxed them out. Hello? All right, I think that's fine for right now. Um, obviously, we're not going to be doing the uh, that quest again <laughs> immediately, um, but we might upgrade a few more before we do that. Okay, so for right now, I believe we should have another... Oh, here he is. King Boru, the Mountain King. All right, let's talk to you. Okay, uh, if I release you, what can you do for me? Uh, well, I know of an elixir that can increase a man's speed and durability substantially. I'll share the secret with you at my release. Okay. 
Okay, I think that, I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. However, what we do normally do is go ahead and talk to the magistrate. Right? I think that's his name, the magistrate. Because um, he normally gives us tips on what to do with the various prisoners and whatnot. Um, so let's see. I'm pretty sure that's the best option, though. I can't imagine he's going to give us that much cash. Uh, the Mountain King. What? He just doesn't have an answer for me. He has... Wow. Okay, he has no idea what to do with the Mountain King. Okay. Fair enough. Then we will go ahead and just take that elixir, I suppose. I wonder how much stronger it's going to make us. I mean, I can't... Maybe a lot? What are we at right now? Oh, we leveled up. Um, hmm. Tell you what, we're going to save... Wait to level up. So we're at 3022 right now. We'll see how much this gives us. Good, my servants will bring you some of the elixir. Athletics plus four. Iron flesh plus four. Oh, that was kind of stupid. We already had ten iron flesh. But I guess that took our athletics all the way up to ten. That'll be nice. Huh, okay. Well, that's good to know for future playthroughs, so we don't need to spend, you know, a whole bunch of uh, skill points on iron flesh and athletics then. All right, um, I think in that case, there's not much real, there's not, not much of a point to continuing to increase agility, because we already have, you know, seven shields, seven riding, ten athletics. I feel like we're good in that part. I think we might start investing in some intelligence, because as you guys told me, these skills will really help us out. Um, and maybe, you know, maybe could have changed the tide of battle in that last one. So here we go. We'll start working on that. We only have seven intelligence. Craig isn't the smartest yet, um, but he's working on it. So we can only upgrade either forestry or farming right now. I feel like forestry is more important in the beginning of the game. So we'll do that. So that'll give us four extra um, every time. And that doesn't sound like a lot, but if you think about it, over the course of an entire match, that, that's, that's going to be a huge amount. All right, so let's also talk to the Empress. I want some of your unique troops. Um... And I will go ahead and give you Khan Kalathar, and I will give you 5,000 dinars. Boom. Okay, so we should have some new units now, right? Is that it? Did that, did that work? I'm not sure if that worked or not. Did we... Did she take some of my money? I think she did. Hmm. Okay. I think that worked. Okay, well, I think then, for right now, let's go ahead and uh, go over to West Frack and see if we can complete some more quests. I don't know how many more quests are in West Frack, to be honest, but uh, I guess we'll find out. And wait, hold up, where did we get that one quest from? The bandit one, the siege defense. Oh, that was from the, uh, the guy in the pavilion. Okay, so we don't have to worry about these ones. Alright, so we've already gone over there, done all these quests... Uh, did the, uh, thing for the, for the little priest. Looks like there might be someone in here. Yep. There we are. Who are you? Westfrack, ooh, Westfrack merchant? I didn't realize they had merchants here. Okay. Oh, they've got some better horses. Oh. That'd be nice. Um. Oh, sterling horse? God damn. 50 speed. Shit, I didn't realize how shitty our horse was. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get that horse then. Um, we'll sell off these Nomad boots. What else do they have? Eh, nothing too crazy, but he has some good horses, so... Oh, what the hell? All of his items are in random order, it would appear. Hmm. Okay. Wow, that was pretty cheap, too. Alright. Good for us. Okay. Uh, let's see. There might be another one over here in this thing, then. Who are you? Chadwick. My name's Chad, bruh. Okay. What can I do for you, sir? Uh, you look like a soldier. Oh, it's another hero. Do you need work? All right. Yep. Um, 5,000 dinars. Yeah. Welcome aboard, Chadwick. Sir Chadwick of West Frack. Who's this? Wes oh, and oh, yeah. There's another trader. Right, he's got some bows. Kind of. Eh, nothing too crazy here. But there was another option. Ooh, what special items can I trade for? All right. There are several products that I could really use. What do you have to offer? Oh. We need something unique to trade him. I don't know if we get that from a quest, maybe? Or what? Okay. Um, I wonder if there's anybody else here, then. Guess we can talk to, uh, the Lord again, and see if he- Lord Vankerman, see if he has any more quests for us. 
I'm not sure if we completed all of them. Alright, Lord. Alright, we got 2,100 dinars. Okay. Uh, how can I be of assistance? Okay, one of my dining halls has been taken over by a bunch of drunks and hooligans. I could use a tough fighter to you to disperse those bastards. Yeah, sure. We'll do that. You enter the main dining hall of Two War only to see it completely abandoned. It feels like a trap. Okay, lovely. Chadwick? Okay, Chadwick has some... Some... Oh, really? This is... This is the trap, huh? Is Lord Venkerman trying to kill us? Because if so, I feel like he should realize that it's going to take a little more than that to kill us. Oh, oh, Jesus, hello. Okay, all uh, right. Well, maybe he's not quite as stupid as I thought, but these are still just regular old bandits. And this is, you know, Stoneheart Craig after all. Although, wow, those... Jesus, okay, those weapons actually do a lot of damage. Okay. All right, God damn. Those hammers... I guess they are blunt damage. They go right through our armor. Blunt damage is better than even piercing. Which, if you think about it, like, if you don't think about it too much, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, but at the same time, blunt damage is about just, you know, straight up kinetic energy and force. And so, armor can't really protect against that. Ooh, come on. There we go. Oh, shit, we get our own troops that come in and help us. Oh, shit, I, I didn't even realize that. Oh, so this ended up being pretty easy. Oh, well, good job, I guess. Wait, oh, nope, JK, not done yet. Everyone was cheering. Oh, Jesus, hello. What the fuck? We're just getting a whole bunch of our random units, I suppose. Because I see Templars, Barbarian, Mercenaries, which I don't think we've upgraded any of the Barbarian Mercenaries. That might be worth it at some point, just to see how good they are. Get back here. Boom, down you go. All right, I'm sure there's going to be another wave, right? Troops, don't get too cocky here. How long does this go for? I wonder. Until we die? <laughs> that might take a while. That might take a while, because we'll be safe. We have a black... Oh, no, they had a blacksmith. Alright, tell you what, I'm just going to chill up here. What, <laughs> what is this mission? I'm confused. Okay, there's only three dudes that spawn. Really? Oh, there's a few more, I guess. What the fuck is this mission? Block you. Fuck out of here. And... Uh, oh, damn it. Oh, shit. We are very low on health. I gotta remember that. A nuke has returned to the battle. Of course a nuke got knocked unconscious. Okay. Are we done? Good God, what the hell is... <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand what they want from us. It's like, they keep on having those, like, really long, awkward pauses where there's no troops coming in, no fighting going on, and then all of a sudden there's a bunch more. Okay, now they're coming in a little bit faster. God damn, all these people were drinking and clogging up his hall, huh? I guess I see why he couldn't, uh, take out a few drunks now. Lord Venkerman does not seem too, uh, too strong of a leader. He did, wasn't it because of the, uh, he was, uh, being a dick to those lumberjacks because someone else was telling him to pay taxes and he was like, oh no! <laughs> so he, instead of, you know, being a lord and saying, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna pay you taxes or whatever, pay you ransom, he just went ahead and, uh, taxed his own people to pay for it. That's pretty pathetic. Stoneheart Craig would never do that, he promises. What the? Okay, you know what? I don't even know what to say anymore. I think we're just gonna... Oh, there we go, we won. Was it like a... Was that like a time-based thing? <laughs> that was... That was bizarre. Okay. I mean, we won, though. And hopefully we're gonna get a nice little paycheck out of them. That was, that was a very weird mission. Okay, um... Have we done all the quests for her yet? Maybe she has a couple of new ones, because I think we did one for her. But she might have some more. Alright. What the f- We didn't even get anything? Oh, I guess we got a small reward from it. Okay. So now that we've done all those, we can go ahead and talk to him about the Lumberjacks. Have you ever met a serf that thinks his lord is fair and just? Okay. I thought that might, uh... 
thought that might piss him off. I guess not. Alright, I think we might be just about done here. I don't know how much else there's really left to do in West Frack. We'll check with the one chick again. See if she has anything new for us. But if she doesn't, I think we might head back and actually go to the docks. Um, okay, we got cow hides and wool. Okay, do you have anything else for us? What the fuck? She just said, hey, are you looking for work? I said yes, and she's like, okay, but there's no work. <laughs> JK. Alright, um, I think that's all there is to do here. If there's more, let me know. We might be back later checking that out. But for the time, actually, tell you what, let's check out Chadwick. I want to see his skills. Okay, so he's only a level 4, but he has 10 strength, 12 agility, so he'll be a pretty decent fighter, I think. Um, we'll go ahead and give him some better armor. There you go. Alright, then in that case, let's head back to our hometown. And supposedly there's someone at the dock. I haven't even been there yet to even see if that's true, but um, hopefully that's the case. I don't think the tournament has refreshed yet, has it? No, I don't think it has. So we'll just head over here. There's got to be someone over here, right? They wouldn't have all this for no reason. Here we go. Oh, he's... Hmm. There's ships and whatnot. Speaking of, is this even a river? Why do we have two massive-ass ships here when this is a lake that leads to literally nothing? <laughs> what a ginormous waste. Okay. Wharfmaster. Um... Oh, shit, okay. So, this unlocks more lands. Okay, tell me of the foreign lands you've visited. Alright, there are two lands that I visit often that have the most promise for expansion. Stellward uh, is an open land that is inhabited by a strong people. They carry heavy armor and protect their rich lands with fervor. Uh, Shikor is another island I, I visit often. Its people's... Wow. Its people use firearms and are very organized fighters. Okay, um... Oh, wait, okay, wow, there's a bunch of new lands here. They cost 10 grand to go to. Let's go to this first one. Obviously, we still have one more land left to conquer with our magistrate. Um, but this, I think, will be a little bit more of a challenge, so we're going to try this out. Actually, before we do that, though, one of the suggestions you guys gave me were to take our gilded footmen and make them their own group. Um, so we're going to make these guys gilded footmen just because they have explosive javelins. These guys are, you know, obviously can be huge, uh, huge weapons in combat, but at the same time, if they're chilling with the rest of our troops, they more often than not just kill a bunch of, uh, our guys. So we're definitely going to want them in their own group so we can specifically command them where we want them to be. And that's going to be away from other troops. Um, also we're going to do that with the... Petards that we have. Alright. Um, so we're going to... Why do they have a helmet for a head? We're going to make them their own group as well. So, just so we know what's going on with them. Boom. Perfect. Okay. Let's get out of here. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. The land of Valvik. Excellent choice, my lord. I'll prepare the ships right away. The inhabitants there are extremely... All right, so you make the long sea voyage to the northern ice lands of Valvik, getting your men ready to fight the savages that reside there. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. All right, so another icy map. I feel like we've been doing a lot of these recently. Um, let's go ahead and start buying some upgrades. All right, there we go. We'll go ahead and sweep. These are all trees that we can cut down, I think. Perfect. Um, well, we actually... Were we able to buy all the upgrades right there? What? Really? Oh. Huh. I'm not sure where we got that extra wood from. Um, <laughs> okay. But I think what we're going to want to do, though, is uh, find some food. Although, that being said, I'm not seeing any wild cabbages running around. Or uh, sitting around here like we had in that last battle against... Who was it? The Mountain King, I think? Because that's what we actually need right now to be able to advance up to the next stage. But I guess for right now, we'll just go ahead and... Oh, wait, hold up. Is that a... That looks like that might be some cattle over there. That or it's Colborn's horse. But he just got knocked out now, so I don't think that's actually the case. Alright, so we'll go ahead. we got some iron over here. I wonder, is there gold that you can get? Oh, you get gold from caravans, so there's probably no, like, resource drop. 
that you can hit and get gold from. That being said, the caravan station is right there. That's actually really easy to defend. We might have to we might have to do that. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and kill this cheap. Boom, 35 food, don't mind if I do. Um, is that enough yet? Are we there? Oh, we are, boom, sweet. Uh, go ahead, get a little of this, a little bit of that. A little, nope, not enough gold yet. Get the blacksmith as well. Uh, need some more iron. Okay, I've got it now. Hmm, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, well, we'll keep on waiting for the rest of that to go. Let's, uh, see what kind of units these guys have. Alright. Uh, they don't look too tough. From what, from what, we're, what, what we've gotten used to. Oh, they're Nord units. From what we've gotten used to in these last couple uh, episodes, these guys don't seem too incredibly difficult. Yeah, they've got freaking dudes in, like, leather pelts and whatnot. Nord footmen? Give me a break. Is this a joke? Oh, there's a cow. I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. Let's also get this. Don't have enough of that yet. Dairy cow, boom, a hundred food. Holy shit, let's go. I suppose we can go over there and actually take out their lord. See how tough he is. Where's he at? Why does it, wait, he looks like Genghis Khan. How come all the lords in this mod look like Genghis Khan? Like they've got that, uh, that yellow armor on. Oh wait, there's two of them. Wait, was that a girl? Is there another empress here? There are two empresses. Huh. I want to get in there and, uh... Whoops, that kind of sounded weird. <laughs> There's a girl here. I want to get in there. <laughs> not what I meant. Not what I meant. Empress... Wait, Empress Riata? Wasn't she in the last battle we fought? Or not the last battle, but one of the previous battles? Oh, and she's already back? There's two of them? Three of them? Another Empress Riata? What? The fuck is this? <laughs> Why are there so many Empresses? Yeah, there's three Empress Riatas. Oh shit, they just- Oh my god, they just crippled our new horse. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We just got him. We just got him. Ah, uh, For fuck's sake. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and get this last upgrade over here. Oops, okay, this guy's being a little bit of a pest. God damn it, I might actually have to let them knock us unconscious just so we can... Uh, respawn with a horse that's gonna be now oh my god now that horse is gonna be lamed uh all right i think we're gonna start getting some caravans here i feel like that might be a decent idea got enough all right we're gonna get at least one caravan just to get some gold income flowing because uh yeah that trade line is, is pretty protected we're pushing these guys back it actually might not even really be necessary in this map just because this seems to be pretty easy so far. Who knows? Maybe once their big reinforcement wave comes in, we'll get punished. Um, but for right now, these guys kind of seem like a joke. A joke that fucking crippled our horse. God damn it, man. That was a really nice horse, too. It was like... Our old horse had a speed of 37. This one had a speed of 50. Like, are you kidding me? It right, looks like they just get one Empress to respawn. At least for right now. We'll see. Maybe the other... Maybe her sisters will respawn as well. I don't know why there's so many of that. Alright, we'll just start laying down a little bit of damage. Um, alright, we'll get this stable going. And we'll get another caravan. And then I guess we'll just get a bunch of troops. Oh, hello. We got our, uh... Our pilgrims are coming in now. Um... What else? Oh, we should also get some, uh... Tell you what, it's kind of hard to see with that. There we go. We'll also get some of these new... Um, where are they at? Oh, uh, composite upgrade. There we go. We'll also start getting some of these guys. And we'll just have them chill. Oops, ouch. I'll have them chill, like, right there. They should be far enough away. Oh, they're ju just gonna murder these pilgrims. Okay, and then we'll also get some sword militia. Um, some hoplites. That should be good. Some more sword militia. Alright, uh, should be in a good place there. Let's also get a few more caravans, because we got... Oh, we don't have enough food, actually. All right, we'll go over here and take these guys out. Ooh, Chadwick with a kill! Sir Chadwick. <laughs> God, that's just such a, such a douchey name. Chadwick. Like, it goes beyond just the average, you know, frat boy name of Chad. He had to add an extra wick on. 
All right. Okay, so we got our composite bowmen coming in. They don't look that great, but I mean, neither did the huntsmen, I guess. And as long as they're, oh, whoops, uh, you charge, you charge. There we go. Velvet sold for twenty six gold. Okay, yeah. So it's definitely worth it to keep to get some caravans rolling early on. That's a lot of money you get from that, especially if you can get like ten or so of them just running back and forth. That'll be a big boost, especially for. Oh, whoa. Okay, hello. They got horses. They got horses all of a sudden. Well, let's take this guy out and actually steal his horse. Sounds like a... Damn, he's tough. What the hell? Alright, get back over here. Shit, he's going for my uh, archers. Speaking of which, are these guys even doing anything? I feel like they aren't. All right. Black you. Alright, this these guys have to be getting weaker. Maybe they're, they're what changed the tide in this battle. Because early on it felt really easy, but maybe these guys will change that. God damn it, we're doing, we're doing a bunch of ham damage to his horse. I want to be hurting him. There we go, he's down. Noble Jarl. Interesting. Jarl's mount. Wow. And it has a tiny sliver of health left. We'll take it. We'll take it. Okay, so we're starting to get a bunch of uh, gold here. Um, I'm going to say we keep on pumping out these for right now. That'll probably be enough caravans for for the time being. Then we'll send in. Uh, we'll we'll be able to start sending in some uh, reinforcements. Probably gonna get some. Hmm. Definitely not gonna get any gilded footmen in this battle. There's not enough enemies to make it worth that. I think what we might do is get some. Uh, what's a good gold unit that we have? I guess our our gilded knights. They do a decent amount of damage. They have the same sword as us, so it can't be too bad. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get out of here. And just go two-handed so we can start going beast mode on this wall. Although, ew, do we want to spawn in their big wave right now? Uh, we don't exactly have a ton of troops, do we? God damn, we just absolutely wreck with a sword two-handed. It's so fast. Okay, there's their big wave. Uh, we are in trouble oh wow empress we ought to just fucked us up okay interesting um let's go ahead and get a whole bunch of gilded knights yeah don't mind if i do oh shit we just spawned this one god damn it all right we'll get some of these guys as well um crap okay let's go ahead and try to like quick die here so we can uh respawn back in as uh as craig how many of them did they kill? How many of them are there? 72. Jesus, fuck. That's a lot. <laughs> okay, the Gilded Knights are good. We, we weren't able to spawn in too many of them because they're actually really expensive. They're 70 gold apiece, so that's why we want a lot of caravans if we if we want to maintain a big army of them. Or not maintain, just get a big army. Because it's not like they, they cost us gold every uh, so often. It's just a big upfront investment if you want them. Okay. Actually, I don't know why we were using our spear when they have uh, this thing. All right. So yeah, we're just gonna get into the thick of it here. Start swinging away until they take us out, and then we'll respawn as Craig and do even more damage. Oh, these guys are pretty buff. So I mean, it's not like we're we're not doing much while we're being a uh, a gilded knight. They definitely pack a punch. Jesus, there's so many of them. Okay, so this isn't this isn't gonna be a cakewalk. What uh, what troops do we want right now? We could use a bunch of bunch more of the archers. But I'm worried about the archers. Tell you what, archers, we're gonna have you move back a bit, just in case they push us back here, which I think they will. Right, let's try to take out some of these noble yarls. Jesus. I can't tell if it's just that they're getting more reinforcement waves, or just that they had so many to begin with. I guess they did really have a huge wave to that spawned in. How much gold we got right now? 747? That's enough for, what, 10 Gilded Knights? Alright, that's we're getting there. We're getting there. That's close to the amount that we want. But I don't even know if 10 Gilded Knights is enough to push back that... That horde. Okay. Uh, yeah. Archers keep on retreating back. So these guys have shields, so it's not like they're going to be able to punish them. Oh shit, they're not getting back in time. They're about to get, yeah, they're about to get beasted. Beasted on. 
All right, um, how many do we got now? All right, that's enough. Get a bunch of them. Get a whole bunch of sword militia to back that up. And then we're going to get some... Mmm, what do we want here? Axemen? I don't know how good they would do against him. Uh... Tell you what, so let's get our archers back here. We can start building up a wave of archers again. Um... Because we have so much extra wood right now. Alright, there we go. We've got enough gold for us, right? Yeah, 174. Okay, we can respawn if we need to. Alright, so how many how many of the Gilded Knights did we just summon in? Like, 12 or so? Those, yeah, you know what? Those guys should actually be good enough to... Whoa, did the uh, kill... F oh yeah, the kill feed faded out for a sec. I was wondering why we weren't really seeing anything. That's why I was questioning. I was like, are the Gilded Knights not really doing jack shit? No, they actually kind of smoked him. Jesus. Okay, we need to... We need to keep that in mind for future battles. The Gilded Knights go off. They're definitely worth the 70 gold once you once you can get a uh, good supply, a good uh, income of gold going. Definitely worth it. Those caravans are huge. Now, obviously, not every map is going to be as easy to... Uh, um, to maintain a to uh, maintain a, a trade line like this one is, some of them have it so that like the the gold or that where the caravans need to go is like halfway between you and their castle. Um, but for right now, this is working out pretty well for us, I'd say. And we're still as we're still rolling as a gilded knight as well. These guys are just really buff. Actually, might get off our oh shit. Okay, well we're not gonna go for too much longer. Just took 35 damage from a single hit. That hurts. Come back around. It might be time for us to uh, move our archers closer in. Just because, as you can see from all those arrows in the uh, wall, they were actually doing a decent amount of damage to the thing. And our Gilded Knights are still wrecking them. Okay, how much we got? Alright, um... Leaving enough for us to still spawn in. We're going to get some more Sword Militia, I think. And then some more Composite Bowmen. But I think we should be in a good spot. Get some axe men. Alright. Let's move these archers closer up. Back over here. That looks good to me. Got a new wave coming in. I think we're... I think we might just be able to do this. Although, that being said, they might come in with another... With a second reinforcement wave once we lower their health down to like a third. Um, but... Oh, there we go. Finally dead. Revive! Craig... Holy shit! Look at all of these archers! God damn. Okay. They that should be able to do some damage. That should be able to do some damage. Alright, we'll go ahead and run past him. God damn it, this horse is lamed again. And the thing is, even though it's lamed, it's probably still faster than our other one. It's probably still faster than it. Alright, how many enemies are there? 33? Killed 233 of them. Alright, let's just... It feels like they're starting to spawn in faster. So they're definitely going to want to finish this battle off sooner rather than later. Because as, admit as admittedly, as much as their individual troops aren't that strong, Nords can be a bitch if they if they group up. It's kind of like, the, that's why they're so nasty in sieges. Um, just because when you have a bunch of axes that do a ton of damage in a close space, it doesn't go well. Holy shit, 52 damage, we just got wrecked. Craig the Stoneheart getting taken out. God damn. Okay. Um. I mean, we had enough money at least to respawn, but I was not expecting that. Yeah. Well, we'll do this. And I guess our bowmen should be able to... We've got, look at... With this many bowmen, they have to be able to... I guess maybe we should bring them a little bit closer. We'll move them up a little bit. Got some more Gilded Knights coming in. Yeah we, yeah, we should be fine. How much damage have we done here? Okay, they're below half. We're just gonna tell you what, until one of them comes here and tries to, uh... Oh, hello. Hello! Who are you? This guy looks different. Who is that dude? What is he? What the fuck? He's tough. Noble Jarl. Oh, okay. It was just a dismounted Noble Jarl. That makes sense. Look at all these arrows. I think they do damage, right? I guess I'm not seeing them. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, they do damage. 
Yeah, so really that's all you need is just like when we have a massive lineup of bowmen like that, they can just rain in death, not only on their troops, but even start taking out their uh, castle, even uh, when the wave is clear. Alright, doesn't look like there's going to be another uh, giant reinforcement wave. I think we pulled this one off. I think we did it. It'll be interesting to see how much this land is worth compared to the other ones when like collecting taxes and whatnot. Or what their lord will give us. Boom, come on, quick. Boom, we out of here. 18,000 dinars for that one. Let's go. Alright. I'm feeling a lot more confident now. Like, I feel like we're starting to get a, uh, a pretty good tactic for how to deal with these missions. Alright, so we'll go to the hometown. Um, let's, uh, let's talk to this new lord. And also, the empress is still... Empress Riata is still here. Huh. What the hell? I'm confused. Do we capture her again? Okay, I, I want to use some of your unique, unique troops. I can think of three things. Kill the dog Khan Kalathar. Give me 5,000 dinars to help me start a new settlement and release me from this cursed dungeon of yours. Oh, do we need... Oh, we need to kill him. I thought maybe if we just agreed with her, we would automatically kill him. But no, we need to actually just kill him. Your time has come to an end, Khan. Boom. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, we like... Okay. Wait, what? We shoot him? <laughs> the execution has been carried out. Khan the Great knocked unconscious. <gasps> knocked unconscious. Uh-oh. That seems like a little bit of foreshadowing. Alright, so he's dead now. So is she gonna... Okay. Uh, I killed Khan Kalthar and I have the money. There you go, you can train them from your military academy. So what do we just get? What do we just get from her? Oh, and wait, hold up. The new lord might be in here? No, he's not. Well, we fought against, it was her, so... Okay, I'm confused. I don't know, how, I don't know, I don't really know what's going on here. Um, but anyways, I think we're gonna go ahead and end it off here. This was a pretty successful episode. We got some amazing new armor. Our troops are really kicking ass. We have a, another hero. All in all, I'd say things are looking up. Let's go ahead and uh, check out what he's got for sale. Oh, I thought that was going to be really good at first. Look at this plate helmet, though. And another sword of the gilded. Oh, shit. Okay, we're going to be buying that for one of our heroes. That's for certain. Um, this helmet? Kind of look... No, that's... As much as that's great for protection, it, that doesn't look like a barbarian helmet. This one looks like a barbarian king's helmet. It's, it's rough. It looks like a raider would wear it. We, we can get this for one of our... He, actually, no. That's 13 grand. We're not giving... We're, we're not have that much cash right now. We'll go ahead and buy the Sword of the Guild, though. But anyways, we're going to end it off there. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. As always, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this series and all the rest of the series that we got going on right now. And as always, take it easy, guys.